Is it the right time to buy or sell Fisker stock? In this video, we'll be delving deep into Fisker. We initially published a report on our website on Monday, November 27, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and enable notifications to stay updated on our latest analysis. You wouldn't want to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since October 19, 2023, our system has identified Fisker as a strong sell candidate, receiving a score of minus 7.13. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a significant loss of minus 67.95%. This means an average daily loss of minus 2.52% since it was categorized as a strong sell candidate. The stock has recently broken the downward trend it was following. While there may be some temporary fluctuations, it is expected to continue falling. Any rebounds to the breaking point of $2.59 should be seen as a second opportunity to exit. It's worth noting that according to the fan theory, the new bottom line of the next trend could be around $0.744, but it's still too early to confirm this. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential minus 46.84% change expected over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from minus 24.90% to 28.60%. In terms of the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 28.36% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from 13.66% to 153.20%. This means the stock could reach a price range of $2.08 to $4.63 in a year's time. Our latest update on Fisker brings an important headline, volatile ride for Fisker stock price on Monday, with prices ranging from $1.82 to $2.23. On Monday, November 27, 2023, the Fisker stock price experienced a decline of 17.94%, dropping from $2.23 to $1.83. Throughout the trading day, the stock showed a fluctuation of 22.53%, reaching a low of $1.82 and a high of $2.23. Over the past 10 days, the price has fallen in seven instances, resulting in a total decrease of 52.34%. Although the volume of shares increased by 20 million on the last day, the prices were falling. This may indicate a potential risk that could slightly increase in the coming days. In total, approximately $67.37 million worth of shares were bought and sold, with a total of 37 million shares exchanged. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for Fisker stock was $8.67, while the lowest price was $1.79. Currently, the price stands at $6.84, which is 78.88% below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 94.27% below the all-time high of $31.96, which was reached on March 2, 2021. Today, let's dive into the latest analyst ratings for FSR. Needham recently gave FSR a hold grade with a hold action on Tuesday, November 14, 2023. Raymond James also weighed in on November 14, 2023, giving FSR a market perform grade with a hold action. On Monday, February 27, 2023, CFRA rated FSR as a sell with an upgrade action. Evercore ISI had some positive news for FSR on Wednesday, November 30, 2022, giving them an outperform grade with an initialize action. Lastly, on Tuesday, November 15, 2022, Morgan Stanley gave FSR an equal weight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given a general neutral rating to Fisker stock. The P-E ratio and price to book are both rated as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a sell rating. Let's analyze the signals for Fisker stock. 
Currently, there are few to no positive technical signals. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate a negative forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a sell signal from the relation between the two signals, where the long-term average is above the short-term average. When the stock experiences corrections upwards, it may face resistance at $2.25 and $4.43. However, if it breaks above these levels, it will issue by signals. On Tuesday, October 3, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a decline of minus 73.01%. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. Moreover, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently indicating a sell signal. It's worth noting that volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign. Therefore, it is advisable to closely monitor the stock. Today, we'll explore some fascinating signals that can provide valuable insights into the market. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which currently indicates a sell signal. Another interesting signal is the pivots, which gave a sell signal 39 days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger indicator suggests a buy signal 54 days ago. Additionally, the short-term moving average points to a buy signal 18 days ago. However, the long-term moving average shows a sell signal 30 days ago. It's also important to consider the relationship between the short and long moving averages, which indicated a buy signal 33 days ago. Taking a look at the 12-month chart, we observe that the short moving average signaled a sell 30 days ago. Likewise, the long-term moving average also gave a sell signal 29 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 22 days ago. For more signals and in-depth analysis, don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Fisker The support from accumulated volume below today's level is currently lacking, which may indicate that the stock could perform poorly in the upcoming days. This stock is known for its high volatility, meaning that it can experience significant price fluctuations throughout the day. Additionally, the Bollinger Band suggests a wide prediction interval, further emphasizing the high-risk nature of this stock. In the previous day, the stock had a price range of $0.410 or 22.53% between its highest and lowest points. Over the past week, the stock has exhibited an average daily volatility of 16.02%. Before we jump into discussing potential trading levels for Fisker, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is a crucial measure that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that a company has negative earnings or is losing money. It's not uncommon for even well-established companies to experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may indicate insufficient profit and potential risks of bankruptcy. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023 is expected to be released on February 26, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings per share for this period are at dash $0.200. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can have a significant impact on stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing some important day trading levels for Fisker. If there's an upward trend, keep an eye on the first resistance level at $2 for Fisker. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this level could be a good opportunity for swing trading. It's important to note that there isn't much support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially experience a sharp drop under certain conditions. It's crucial to proceed with caution and consider placing trades only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The average rating for Fisker from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Now, let's examine some recent insider trades. On November 6, 2023, Buting Flores conducted an insider purchase of 160,183 shares of Class A common stock. On November 6, 2023, Buting Flores conducted an insider purchase of zero shares. On October 6, 2023, 
Gruel Wendy J. conducted an insider purchase of 2,025 shares of Class A common stock. On October 6, 2023, Hicks and Mark E. conducted an insider purchase of 2,025 shares of Class A common stock. On October 6, 2023, McDermott William R. conducted an insider purchase of 2,025 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 10.474. In total, insiders have purchased 2,722,151 shares and sold 3,667,772 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Fisker stock worth investing in? Currently, Fisker stock shows several negative signals and is in a declining trend. As a result, we anticipate that it will continue to perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, we have a negative evaluation of this stock. However, our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued, based on the volatility and movements observed during the last trading day. Looking ahead to Tuesday, November 28, we predict that Fisker will open up at $1.96, representing an increase of $0.130. Before we dive into today's topic, let's have a quick reminder. Investing in the stock market comes with risks, and it's essential to consult a financial advisor before making any trading decisions. Keep in mind that StockInvest.us is a source of information, but it shouldn't be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to share our current view of the stock with you. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also curious about your target for the stock. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable trading insights. Wishing you successful trading, and have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.